Want to learn how to create analyses and dashboards? Let me show you how. You can view analyses and dashboards that you most recently worked on, or you can create new ones. To begin creating an analysis, double-click the columns that you want to add. You can apply filters, column formatting, add sorts, and so on on the Criteria tab. Sort revenue to show the highest values first. You'll add this analysis to a new dashboard. The dashboard will have a prompt that filters the contents by both region and brand. For the prompt to work properly on the dashboard, you need to add a filter for region and brand that uses the is prompted operator. Adding a filter with the is prompted operator for a filters column flags a column as ready to be filtered by a prompt. This means when a prompt is used, results include only records where the data in the column that is prompted matches the user's choices. View the analysis in the results tab. Add the cust segment column to the analysis. Add a chart. Best visualization gathers information about the included data and dimensions, and then determines the optimal presentation layout for the analysis. Save the analysis to a shared folder. Now create a new dashboard. If you want to create the dashboard for personal use, change the location to My Folders. In Dashboard Builder, drag and drop an object, such as a prompt or analysis, to which you have access to the work area of the new dashboard page. Notice that a new column and section are created automatically into which the objects are placed. Add more columns, and then drag other analyses and the region brand prompt to the work area too. Save and run the dashboard. Make sure the prompts work properly. All analyses are filtered by the selected values for the prompts. You can now see how well your brands are performing for each region and customer segment. Now you know how to create analyses and dashboards. Check us out at docs.oracle.com.